Right now at six, life in prison. The man involved in a 2021 triple homicide handed down his sentence. And a training program is preparing high schoolers to save lives. It's an effort to fill workforce shortages. Watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. The man involved in a 2021 triple homicide case will spend the rest of his life behind bars. 46-year-old Comtheneth Ratanisak was sentenced in a La Crosse County court today for one count of first-degree intentional homicide as a party to a crime. The other charges in his case were dismissed as part of a plea deal. Judge Elliot Levine sentenced Ratanisak to mandatory life in prison. He will be eligible for parole after 35 years. In exchange for the plea, he testified against Naya Tao, the other man who was charged in the triple homicide. Tao's first trial ended with a hung jury. A Wisconsin woman involved in the Slenderman attack is requesting release. A judge will determine whether 21-year-old Morgan Geyser should be released from a psychiatric hospital. Geyser is one of the two conduct. women who nearly stabbed their sixth grade classmate to death in 2014. The women said they were trying to please online horror character Slenderman, who the women became convinced was real. Three psychiatric experts were appointed today to examine and give reports on Geyser's mental condition. The judge will then consider the reports in April and possibly decide a release date. Public outrage continues as thousands in the Chippewa Valley lose their health care provider in a few months. Hospital Sisters Health System and Prevea Health announced last week they would close Sacred Heart and St. Joseph's Hospitals, plus 19 clinics. Tonight, community members are gathering again outside Sacred Heart in Lo Eau Claire. Anna Walker is one of roughly 1,400 health care workers who will be out of a job in a few months with no severance. She says the providers leaving will strain remaining hospitals and EMS response times will skyrocket. Chippewa Falls losing their emergency department is going to be a huge, huge burden um, for emergent conditions. Having to travel so far to actually get to the nearest ER is really pretty terrifying. HS and HS and Purvea will shut down their area facilities by April. Walker hopes the government steps in before the massive crisis really hits. The Eau Claire Area Chamber of Commerce is now leading a recovery task force with city officials to help find a path forward. And Gunnarsson Health System today sharing a statement about the closures in Chippewa Valley. The health system says it is assembling a team to provide guidance for what they can and cannot do to support those impacted. Gunnarsson also assuring patients it will not be in a similar situation. It says quote we are set up well to provide the care needed today to build and support great teams and to strategize design and deliver care models for the future. Our future is bright. Well, it was nice and sunny and mild outside. I got to get outside for a little bit. How yeah, about a little bit. You? Yeah, a little bit of sunlight mm -hmm. uh, action for me as well. <laughs> and uh, well deserved, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it finally came back after a week. Like I said, last uh, you expected the 38, 39 last week to be nice and warm, but it's going to be damp with no sun. But we did already set a record high of Leclerc, got up to 47. So just a little bit of sun in these conditions really boost that temperature up. It was actually 50 degrees in Minneapolis today, too. Time lapse show, we started off with the clouds, but eventually the sun did come out finally in the afternoon and we have cloud cover beginning to increase towards the evening hour. That's because we do have a little bit of a weak system coming through. Right now what you see on radar is just clouds, not actually precipitation reaching the ground. Temperature still in the mid 40s, but we're going to see more of that come behind this system. Really the moisture is behind it as it pushes across. So overnight we'll see increasing low clouds, which may provide a little bit of sprinkle or flurry action as we go through tomorrow morning. But for today, tonight, just this evening, cloud cover increases. Temperature still very mild. You notice the winds turning around to the northwest. So a little bit breezy later on tonight with that northwest wind. Eau Claire getting down to 37 with once again some sprinkles or flurries maybe developing after midnight. The meltometer continues to fall and for the next week and a half there's not going to be much snow left as we continue to see mild conditions. I'll break down how warm we might get if we'll see 50 and you know whether groundhog will see a shadow or not. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Greg.
As labor shortages continue impacting Wisconsin, the need for younger workers in construction and trade industries is growing. It's one of the reasons Luther High School in Onalaska is opening the doors on a new facility focused on teaching trade schools like robotics and metalworking. News now's Jeremy Wall got a look inside that new facility. Jeremy. Yeah, Ken, according to ConstructionDive.com, the construction industry is facing a shortage of nearly half a million workers in the U.S. Now, that's largely due to the fact that as older Americans retire from construction careers, there just aren't enough young people pursuing trade careers to replace them. The new additions at Luther High School is taking that challenge head on. This year, the school, the school is offering more trades classes, including advanced woodworking and electronics class and robotics. The school received close to a million dollars in donations from local foundations and businesses to make this space possible. Any credit students receive from these classes can be applied towards an apprenticeship, four year or two year school, including you saw there, Western Technical College and Universities of Wisconsin campuses. Now, one student, student we spoke to says he wants to become an electrician and feels these classes will help put him ahead of others. It's kind of opening my eyes to what could be and what you know it's all about. Um, it gives me a jump, you know, a head start on uh, on with the other guys that are kind of competition with because I, I need to earn earn myself and prove myself to other companies. And the number of trades classes is only growing. Next year, students will be able to take welding. Luther High School is also hosting an open house Saturday, Saturday February 10th from 9 a.m. to noon for the public to check out the new facility. Ken and Emily. All right, thank you, Jeremy. La Crosse is celebrating its annual Transit Equity Days. The week-long event highlights public transit as a civil right and a way to cut down on your carbon footprint. La Crosse Mayor Mitch Reynolds was at the Grand River Station Transit Center giving his proclamation that today kicks off Transit Equity Days. In honor of the week, MTU rides will be free now till Sunday. Transit advocates say they're focusing on spreading the word about the area's bus system. Buses are cleaner, they're safer, they have fewer greenhouse gas emissions, and we just need to get more people uh, knowing about the bus service and riding the bus, and that's what, why we have these days. La Crosse Area Transit Advocates will be hosting events all week to educate the public about the region's different transportation systems, including workshops and displays. Transit Equity Day is celebrated around the country on Rosa Parks' birthday, February 4th. Combating workforce shortages. A joint program is preparing high schoolers for the realities of being a first responder. hy V hot deals are burning hot. Green or black seedless grapes, just $1.99 a pound. Lots of matzo pizza, $4.99. And Frito-Lay party-sized snacks, just $3.99 each when you buy three. Only at hy V. Planning a home renovation? Save money on demolition and disposal fees by contacting Habitat for Humanity's Reclaim Program. Habitat will remove your cabinets, flooring, windows, appliances, and more for free. Habitat sells reclaimed material at the ReStore rather than sending it to a landfill. To schedule your free reclaim service, go to habitatlacrosse.org slash reclaim. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Save every day with Hy-Vee Perks prices. Chiquita bananas, Hy-Vee Perks price, 39 cents a pound. Hy-Vee butter, Hy-Vee Perks price, 2.98. And Campbell's soup, Hy-Vee Perks price only a dollar. Sign up for Hy-Vee Perks today.
41% of EMS agencies in Wisconsin don't have enough staff to respond adequately to an emergency. That's from the Office of Rural Health. The shortage is prompting lawmakers to rethink the age limits required to obtain a first responder certificate, allowing some as young as 17 to work on an ambulance crew. In La Crosse, a joint effort between Western Technical University and the Onalaska Fire Department is already preparing Cooley Region youth to fill the empty seats in fire trucks and ambulances. What would your patient look like? These high school seniors are hitting the books, preparing for a future, saving lives. I think I might do both, be a firefighter, paramedic. That opens them up to be able to decide, is this really what I want to do? The program started in 2021, a joint effort between Western Technical College and the Onalaska Fire Department to teach high schoolers the realities of a career on the fire line. There are a lot of young men and women that want to be firefighters and EMTs, you know, so this is a good way to get them in the program. They come from high schools across the region. We do like live burns. They make it really fun for us and really safe for us to where we're not scared anything's going to happen. Not everyone will pursue a career as a firefighter or EMT. Some of them go on into more of a hospital setting, be a paramedic in a hospital or go into nursing. I've had people come in and want to be doctors. But the students here know the staggering shortages affecting EMS providers across Wisconsin. The thought is, is to try to keep them in the community. It's really nice to have hometown people helping hometown people. Current law allows Wisconsinites to become licensed EMTs at age 18, but a new bill in the state assembly would lower the age to 17. It's an effort to fill shortages among the ranks. Despite obvious concerns, it's gaining support among parents. I know there's a real shortage and it'd be cool that if she would be part of helping that part. After training, the students are eligible to take the state certification. I thought it was cool mm -hmm. that I could at so young, so I decided to do it. You'll have the certification at a young age, so even if you don't want to at a young age, you'll definitely know your stuff and know your skills and know how, how everything runs. Now in the fall, students will begin the fire training portion of the curriculum. Macy plans to enroll in Western Technicals Fire Protection Technician Program after high school. Well, coming up, January is Birth Defects Awareness Month. How to reduce the risk of having a baby born with a birth defect. And we definitely have warm conditions coming up, mild conditions throughout next week. Even what the groundhog doesn't say or say, we're looking at quiet weather. I'll break down if we'll see 50 at the point and when we might actually see the next rain or snow chance. All that coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable.
Calling all fishermen, hunters, and outdoor sports enthusiasts. The Lacrosse Sports Show returns February 8th through 11th. Grab the latest gear and browse through the many boats, docks, lifts, ATVs, RVs, fifth wheels, travel trailers, and more. Come for the deals, stay for the fun. Save big with special show-only pricing. Experience the many family-friendly entertainment options. And take home cash and carry items. If there's too much to see, come back a second day for free. February 8th through 11th at the Lacrosse Center. LacrosseSportsShow.com. What's this? Time? Time for what? Time for the great vanishing act. All this must go. What about me? You're the first to go. Hey, I like it here. Really? Hurry in for the end of business sale at American Home Fireplace and Patio. Save hundreds, even thousands, over 100 fireplaces and stoves, all displays, in-stock grills, and patio furniture must go. American Home Fireplace and Patio, Highway 16, West Salem. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. It's National Birth Defects Awareness Month. One in 33 U.S. babies are affected by birth defects each year. That's according to the March of Dimes. While many lead long and happy lives, birth defects are the leading cause of infant death in the U.S. The March of Dimes says a woman starts out with a 3% chance of having a baby with a birth defect with every pregnancy, regardless of underlying health conditions or lifestyle factors. And while we don't know exactly what causes most birth defects, there are some things you can do before and during your pregnancy to reduce the risk. Well, you really want to review your history with your provider. So you want to get on a prenatal vitamin, specifically folic acid, even before you conceive, uh, but as soon as you are pregnant as well, to continue to prevent those birth defects. And it's really important to stop any kind of smoking, alcohol, or any, any illicit drugs. The doctor adds that birth defects are usually structural issues that arise in the first trimester. More information about birth defects can be found on the March of Dimes website. It looks like we're in store for a mild week in the Cooley region. Sunny let's, and mild. Let's get that breakdown from Greg. Yeah, it's definitely the next couple weeks. The pattern is mild and very quiet. We'll see if that changes for the second half of February, but for through Valentine's Day, we're not seeing much in the way of any cold or snow. Really, average temperatures are starting to come up. We're probably going to be approaching an average temperature of 30 here soon, but it's upper 20s, low 30s, teens. We're going to see up the records this time of year are upper 40s to uh, some days are low 50s, maybe fin 50s. So we could see some records over the next week as sometimes we might flirt with 50 or hit it. Like today, we already had a few records. Tonight, we do have some sprinkles of flurries with that system coming down. It won't be a huge deal, but you'll see some of that in the morning. After that, there's a few passing dry cold fronts to the next week. They're all dry. They'll drop the temperature down just a few degrees, nothing other than that. Maybe precipitation towards Valentine's Day. We'll see if that pans out. And you look at the Climate Prediction Center all the way out through the middle of February. It's a lot of red on the map, very little green, a little bit of a stretch here that we might see, but even that looks really suspect now. It's mainly going to be dry and warm. Here's that little activity we're going to see behind it. Really, this will probably be flurries, sprinkles, low clouds as it comes through basically around the morning commute. That'll continue for about maybe 7 to 9 a.m. Maybe a few showers continuing, but very light precipitation. No road impacts to be expected with this, but something for your morning commute. Otherwise, we get in the afternoon. We'll probably start seeing more of the sun come out. Temperatures won't climb as much today just because of cloud cover limited to the upper 30s to maybe a few spots hitting 40. Then as you go evening, we'll start seeing breaking the clouds for Tuesday evening, which means Wednesday should be fairly nice. Snowfall tonight, we did mention a little bit up towards Lady Smith up there. They might see a little bit accumulation, but that's very light. Not expecting any road impacts. The break in the clouds looks like we might see a good break come Wednesday. We have another little cold front coming down probably for Thursday, so we'll see a warmer day Wednesday and potentially Thursday before we kind of break that temperature down a little bit. So we could see 50 once again, maybe Thursday. Otherwise, we'll see that break down. Overall, this is called a blocking pattern in the weather world. Basically, it's really forming what we call with the Greek alphabet the omega because basically the flow comes up and around and then dives south. So we're kind of centered in the middle. So basically, the storm system stays well to the south or everything gets lift up to the north and we stay dry and eventually towards next week it kind of closes off this high right overhead with the low to the south so we continue with dry conditions. It's going to take some time before this breaks down 
And like I said, it could be towards Valentine's Day that we'll start seeing maybe a change. But in the meantime, dry and really quiet conditions. But for tonight, there is that sprinkle of flurries probably later tonight. Temperatures getting down in the mid 30s, so still above freezing for most areas. Tomorrow morning, that sprinkle or flurry, maybe even a snow shower towards noon. Otherwise, a little bit more sun in the afternoon getting up to the mid to upper 30s, so a little cooler than we had today. But after that, Wednesday looks warm. We could be in near 50. Thursday, once again, pretty close. A drop Friday behind a cold front, and then beyond that, we warm back up. So there are some opportunities for 50 potentially Wednesday, Saturday, and maybe even next week. And like I said, the groundhog is definitely not going to be cold. <laughs> we'll see if he sees a shadow or not. But regardless, uh, if he says yes or no, it, it's going to be mild for the he next week and a half. He said earlier it's going to be outside barbecuing. Yeah, he's going to have a shirt on grilling. That That's what the <laughs> groundhog <laughs> The groundhog right. barbecue, yep. yes. It's gonna, it's gonna be enjoying the weather here. It's that kind of weather for it sure. <laughs> yep, it is. I'm inviting myself to that. <laughs> That's a once in a lifetime experience right, right there, <laughs> Greg. Thanks very much. Coming up next in sports, the Bucks will have their new coach on the sidelines tonight in Denver. Plus, on Alaska Junior Manny puts having uh, quite a busy schedule before track season begins in the spring. Rob has that story right after this. New windows can give you a whole new view of the world around you. Call today for a prompt free estimate from the Board Store Home Improvements, 782-8877. For a state-of-the-art after-sales experience for your Audi, other high-end and European vehicles, there's one place to go, Maury's Audi in Onalaska. Highly trained, Audi-specific technicians will take care of your vehicle while you wait in an exclusive cafe and lounge. Schedule today. I've been busy. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. Get your lines a jigging at the 74th Annual Ice Fishery in Prairie du Chien, February 3rd and 4th, with the kickoff Friday, February 2nd. Visit prairiedusheen.org for a complete listing of all activities. Come join us for the 101st Annual Snowflake Ski Jumping Tournament, February 2nd and 3rd, County Road P, Westby. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Welcome to the new year with savings at your home improvement company. Slash your heating bills with our energy efficient, low maintenance windows. Call now to receive buy two, get two free on custom made windows for your home and enjoy zero interest, zero payments and zero down until 2025. Our certified professionals ensure a worry free installation backed by a lifetime warranty. Hurry, this offer ends soon. Call now to schedule your free consultation. Happy new year from your home improvement company where it's your home made better. When your vehicle needs service, go to Maury's VW in Onalaska. Competitive rates and highly trained automotive technicians will have your Volkswagen or other domestic vehicles back on the road. While you wait, feel the friendly, upbeat, and engaging energy flow of our service lounge. Schedule today. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Another year, another major accomplishment for the Hilltoppers standout, Manny puts. It's been a busy week for the Onalaska Junior, and when it comes to his upcoming schedule as we get closer to track season, the journey is just getting started. Not only was Putz named the Wisconsin Gatorade Cross Country Athlete of the Year, he also earned a spot in the Nike Elite Program. It's an initiative designed to provide support for the top high school track and field athletes in the country. Putz is one of 40 athletes on the team, and now he'll represent Nike during some of the most prestigious track and field events throughout the country. Putz wasn't able to run track last spring due to an injury, but he's back and he's ready to get to work on the oval. I'm really excited for that two mile because, you know, the further the better. I'm really looking forward to, you know, showing people what I can do even though I've been injured all last track season, I can still do really good this season. And so I just feel like I've been in the shadows for a while in track. Um, so I, I'm just really excited to get back in the light. He'll have the chance to show off what he can do on the track during the Nike Indoor National Meet in March. Busy week on the hardwood once again, and the action continues tonight. On the girls' side, big-time conference matchup in the NBC. Central's coming off a tough loss against Aquinas last week, 
Riverhawks back at it tonight in Holman. Vikings are 6-2 and two so far in conference play. The Onalaska girls are 7-2 and two in MVC play. They'll have their hands full tonight as the Hilltoppers hit the road to take on 13-5 and five Caledonia. And Westby will be in La Crescent as the Lancers play host to the Norsemen. On the college hardwood, another big week for the Badgers as the Wisconsin men's basketball team climbing in the ranks. Badgers all the way up to number six in the latest AP poll. Wisconsin is 8-1 and one in Big Ten play so far. They went 2-0 and oh last week. First, they went on the road over rival Minnesota. Then the Badgers took down Michigan State Friday night at home. Their second win over the Spartans this season. Wisconsin with two more tough tests in front of them this week. First on the road against Nebraska Thursday night. Then a big, big one on Sunday back at home against second-ranked Purdue. Big night for the Bucks tonight on the road as Milwaukee heads to the Mile High City to take on Bill Grawl's Nuggets, the defending champions. It'll be a debut of Milwaukee's new head coach, Doc Rivers, as he finally makes his way to the Bucks sideline. Milwaukee's looking for its second straight win. Made it look easy over the Pelicans on Saturday night for the second time this season. 23rd time in his career, Giannis has been named Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Bucks went three and one last week. Giannis, big week, averaging over 29 points, more than 14 rebounds a game during that span. So it, it's going to be interesting to see if the Bucks kind of maybe hit another gear with a new head coach. I mean, yeah. I know you can't change that much that fast, but we'll see what happens. It's certainly the hope, and he's one of the most experienced coaches to ever do it. Yep. So. And they looked good on Saturday, too, so Doc's got a lot to build on. A little precursor, yeah. We'll a see. little bit. I just watched football. I didn't watch basketball. Big week. Fair enough. Yeah, fun. Fair well, enough. Yeah, Lions I mean, didn't win, but... It was the top Tough loss for the Lions, world. but yeah. what are you going to do? What are you yeah. going to do? <laughs> All right. <laughs> More news after this. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. If you've been hurt in an accident, you need the experienced attorneys of Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben. The language of law is very complex, but Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben answered all my questions in plain English. They made complicated law very easy to understand. And I can't say enough about Paul, my attorney. He just made me feel so comfortable. I tell all my friends what a difference Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben made in my life. Go to schwebel.com and fill out a free online case evaluation. There is no fee unless we win. Spectrum Mobile brings you our best deal to start the new year. Now you can get Unlimited Mobile for $15 per line. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line with no added taxes or hidden fees and no contracts. Save over $1,400 for the first year. Call 855-231-6922. Spectrum Mobile includes nationwide 5G and the fastest wireless speeds with unlimited talk, text, and data. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line. Call 855-231-6922 or visit a Spectrum store near you. Join today's shoppers as they explore Sweet Valley Artisans. There's so many good things here. How do you pick just one? You don't. I've been looking for something to hang in my garage. What about this or this? Vintage clothing and accessories? Let's check it out. Have you found anything yet? Um, yeah? I'm getting hungry just looking at this. I know what you mean. Step in and find your treasure today. All right, tomorrow we might see some morning flurries or sprinkles, cloud cover, but then a little bit of sun in the afternoon, and then the rest of the forecast is pretty much on and off clouds, sun, 40s, maybe a couple 50s in there, and if you're looking for snow and cold, it's nowhere yeah, to be in sight with that. All the going to be gone by the end of the week, it oh, yeah. seems like. Yeah. I don't know. Dogs are going to be depressed, I know that. <laughs> oh. Thanks for joining us at 6. We'll see you.